Okay, guys, so day 38 of the bulk, the road to 250. So I did my check-in this morning with Christian. I've come in at 231 pounds, 105 kilos, which is juicy weighing because we're still looking lean. We're up 0.7 pounds on average. In fact, I'm not putting an ounce of fat on in the last four, five, six weeks, probably. Um, and body weight's up, I'd say, in the last five weeks. Body weight's up two and a half kilos. Something like that. So the, the rate of gain is actually pretty slow. Food's high. You know, we're at about 250 protein every day, 625 grams of carbs, and 55 grams of fat which equates to about 4,000 calories every day. So, yeah, we're putting some food away, man. Like, breakfast is at that point now of 12, 1,300 calories just to start the day off right. And, yeah, pushing hard to get up to that 110 towards 113. So, 113 kilos is 250. But, of course, the first goal is get 110, see what body composition is like, and go from there. But today, what we are going to do, we're going to go for a full arm session which arms for me have always been a weak point. I feel like the amount of effort I'm putting into them currently and the enjoyment I'm finally getting out of training arms has really allowed them to grow. So for, for years, I had shit arms and they were like 15 points from inches, absolutely shocking. But now we're pushing above 17 inches. Um, of course, let's go to get to 18 inch arms and I feel like if I go up to 250, we'll probably do that. Yeah, there'll be a, a level of fat gain on the arms and stuff like that. But yeah, 18 chance will be juicy, man. Um, so we'll see how we get on. As we speak, I am uploading the leg day video, as you can see, or possibly not see. And we're going to get this arm day done. I'm going to get a monster down me. I'm also going to get a pre workout because, <laughs> I mean, come on, who doesn't want to get stimmed off the face on caffeine? But not only that, all the uh, extra pump ingredients that pre workout gives, you know, like the citrulline malates and stuff like that. So yeah. Let's get into this arm day. I'll talk you through it as we go along. And yeah, it's going to be a juicy one, guys. So I'll see you in the gym. Right then. <clears throat> arm day. Arm day. Oh my God. I'm tight as a motherfucker. Oh. My shoulders and pecs have just like no mobility. I used to, but. <laughs> Not anymore. I've never really put that much emphasis into my mobility, which is a mistake. So if you're someone who is willing to put the time in, do it, because I can't recommend it enough. Otherwise, you feel like me, stiff as a fucking board. So <clears throat> I'm just going to do a little bit of warming up, because I should. So I'll just do some pull aparts, some dislocations, some face pulls, a little bit of push downs with a band. And then I'm going to get cracking. So <clears throat> what we're going to do, we're going to hit all biceps to start with. Free exercise on biceps. <clears throat> and then we're going to hit free exercise on triceps. I've not even decided on the workout today. I'm going to be real honest with you. So we're going completely off the cuff. We're going to wing it all and see how we get on. So, yeah. Let's get cracking, boys. Let's get cracking. It's exercise number one. Starting off with a incline dumbbell curl. I'm not going to go heavy on these. Purely because for me, because of my shoulder mobility, if you look, I can barely even get my elbow back here. So if I really force it, I'm getting like a twinge of pain through the shoulder and the bicep, which I'm not risking. I'm not a fucking idiot. So... <sighs> I'm gonna stay light, get what rotation I can get, and then just go for reps. We can progress in every rep scheme. We don't have to be hitting eight to 12.
So first set in, sitting in set of 20, we'll go heavier than that. Let's get them biceps. Get them biceps moving. So anytime you're uh, you're planning your bicep train, you don't want to be one dimensional. <clears throat> if you are, you just end up curling from here all the time. Dumbbell curl, barbell curl, easy bar curl, cable curl. <clears throat> and the biceps want to be trained at different angles. So if you train the bicep behind with the elbow behind the body, okay, the range, you're gonna get more range. Gonna oh, sorry, fucking can't breathe. You're gonna hit hit the bicep uh, with a different sort of force production. If you do like a standard curl from here, again, this is a great way to train the bicep. Obviously, however, what you don't want to be doing is curling in. You also want to be opening up as much as possible and keeping that shoulder joint in line with the elbow. And that way you're going to target the bicep best. Okay, you'll see people doing that like easy bar curls where you're in here and you're limiting range. That's not what you want. You always want the most amount of range when training biceps. So you don't want to be closing off. Okay, keep that in mind. So if I was on um, a cable machine, I'd generally push the biceps a little bit harder on the first exercise. But anytime I'm doing dumbbell, just because, I don't know, it seems to take me forever to get the biceps warmed up. I can't get like little twinges and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, I always take it relatively easy on the first exercise if I'm training with dumbbells. You know, you don't have to do it that way, but for me, I understand my body. I understand what it responds to and what it needs. And yeah, but now they feel pumped, feel warmed up. And we've on to exercise number two. So exercise number two is going to be a traditional dumbbell curl. So we'll move into that. Like I said, elbow behind the body on the incline curl. Now we're going elbow directly to the side of the body after that. We'll move into a preach curl, elbow in front of the body, okay? Train the biceps to its full extent. Okay, we'll set number one. Trying to open up as best I can, I'm so fucking tight. It's embarrassing. Not good. <sighs> Oh, I can tell that I've like been due a deal all this week. Oh, I'm so beaten up. I just feel weak as piss. Weak as piss, just everything hurts. Like even that's opening up the arm into that position. I'm so fucking tight. I'm gonna have to do something about this or it's gonna limit limit growth. Oh, I am pumping up fast though, I'll tell you that. Holy shit. Holy shit. Let's go. <sighs>
curls done. Okay, so last exercise for biceps. We're doing a single arm dumbbell for each curl. Now you can tell we're doing everything with dumbbells. We're doing everything unilateral. Just because if you're doing barbells, like I guarantee you've got one, one arm stronger than the other. I guarantee it, or one arm bigger than the other. It's just the way it is. So if you train with barbells, one arm is going to take over ever so slightly. And it's going to hinder gains, or that stronger arm is going to stay ahead. But if you hit dumbbells, you know, you can start to make up for that and train them, you know, separately. You can train them effectively and equally as well. So let's get into this. And what you'll notice is my range will not be what you think it is. I'm not going to come all the way down. because That's just going to put the bicep in a tricky position. I'm going to come to about here, almost three quarters and back through. Anything further and you're risking that bicep tendon. And that we're not in the we're not in the game for that. We're in the game for fucking biceps, not snaps biceps. So even with that, like, I'm doing the exercise, I can feel my rear delt almost firing up. That's how fucking tight I am through my pecs and my shoulders. Like, it's, it's affecting my bicep training, which is not good. Because, well, because it's tight, it's affecting strength. Because when, when you're overly tight and the tendons start causing issues, you're not willing to push as far. Because what can happen is you can start feeling almost like injury potential increase and you don't want to push past past that especially on your fucking biceps such a delicate delicate muscle <sighs> 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 Oh man, oh, biceps done, I cannot wait to get a massage to relieve all this shit, <laughs> man oh man, right, a few minutes rest, then we'll hit some triceps and we're going to start with some flat dumbbell skull crushes, so let's get into it, so let's see these 12 and a half feel excuse me normally i would jump up to 20s something like that but again we'll see remember we are on a deal load so i'm not quite pushing things i gotta be careful get ready for next week for a bigger week oh so they do feel good they feel fine However, pec tightness, man. Like, I'm not just talking about 
a little bit of tightness, like, ooh, just need to stretch that off a little bit, like fucking in the tight. Fuck. Guys, this is just a, this is a complaining session today. But I'm being real with you. <laughs> Not every session. <coughs> We're going to have it just to go balls to the wall. It's just not the case. Sometimes we have these sessions. We've got to listen to our body, you know. Um, th that way we can progress long term. If you push past shit, you really fucking know you shouldn't. Disaster waiting to happen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick at this weight. I think I'm going to stick at this exercise and do all my tricep volume here right now. Nine working sets. So I'll get into these. I'll keep the rest periods relatively short. We'll completely just work on getting a pump and go from there. I'm not going to bore you with nine sets, but let's uh, let's show you the form from a few different angles and we'll go from there. Oh, that was set three. Let's fast forward to set nine. No need to see nine sets of skull crushes. <clears throat> okay, guys, last set. The one we've all been waiting for. Last set, and then we'll uh, we'll do a pump check. <clears throat> see how these arms look. All blown up. Ooh. <clears throat> Oh, fuck. Didn't quite make 20 on that last one. Woo. Right, okay. Let's check the pump. Okay, so. That was a arm day. Within a deload week for me. As you can tell from what I've been saying at all fucking video, I'm beating up. Body needs a rest. It needs some massage. It needs some physio. Um, but overall, like I've progressed so much over the last... Well, since coming out of the photo shoot, that it's no surprise that potential injuries or past injuries are starting to flare up because, like, I'm up 15 kilos in body weight, which is a fucking lot extra to be carrying around. And with extra body weight comes tightness, you know, things that flare up, strength goes through the roof. So you start pushing new numbers, and then that starts to um, hit potential injuries. Um, and previous injuries and things like that. So, yeah, let's check this. Uh, let's check this pump out. <sighs> Super hard to get my top off. Oh man. Oh. I wish I had a. I wish I had a chest and delt pump for this. It'd make me feel insecure. But uh, okay. So here we go. Check the pump out, boys. So that's biceps, triceps done. Nine sets of each. Uh, yeah, looking relatively juicy. Relatively juicy. Check this out. Oh, <sighs> so much tightness in here, right in fucking here, man. That's where it is. Oh, I even feel that there. Shit. Woo. But yeah. So, currently, where we're up to is bulk. So, like, nearly, nearly six weeks in, aren't we, essentially? 
Um, it's going really well. Overall, we're actually up 15 kilos. Like I said, my lowest body weight was down at like 90 kilos. And we're up at 105 now for the last three days, sitting at 105, um, which is good. Even though I had like a, a big increase in body weight after the shoot, it's settled. It's settled for ages now, and we're just solidifying this body weight and this new muscle tissue and make sure that new new fat doesn't go on. So we're currently up on average weekly at the moment. We're putting on half a pound to three quarters of a pound a week. So it's not enough to be putting fat on. So I'm feeling pretty good really. Feeling pretty good. Um yeah tomorrow's session. What's tomorrow's session? I can't remember to be honest. Shoulders maybe. Like it should be a push day, but I am still resting my pecs and considering I can feel the pec just hitting triceps, I'm gonna leave it. It needs more time and I'm not risking it. Is it annoying because I want my fucking chest to grow? Yes, but like I said, we're in the business of building muscle, not getting injured, okay? So tomorrow, probably hit shit tons of shoulders, fucking laterals in every fashion that we can get them tomorrow. That is the goal I would say. So guys, thank you for watching. Give this time, I'm there you go. Um, but yeah, if you guys are bulking as well, I hope you're pushing hard. I hope you're eating all that food and forcing that growth because that's the only way to do it. You can't slow down. Okay. So if you like the video, click like on the video. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you tomorrow for some shoulders.